welcome to Earth File. I am Ayola Kasim. Never before have people consumed so much fish or depended so greatly on the sector for their well-being. Fish is extremely nutritious, a vital source of protein and essential nutrients, especially for many poorer members of the global community. The latest report on the state of the world fisheries and aquaculture states that global fish production continues to outpace world population growth. And Nigeria is not left out in the race to feed these growing populations. The local solutions is what we'll be talking about today on the program. Do stay with us. The study, The Value of African Fisheries, released by the NEPAD FAO Fisheries Program, whose aim was to estimate the contribution to the national and agricultural GDPs and the employment generated by the whole fisheries sector, estimated that the value added by the fisheries sectors as a whole in 2011 was more than $24 billion, that is 1.26% of the GDP of all African countries. According to the new estimates produced by the study, the fisheries sector as a whole employs 1.3 million people as full-time fishers or full-time and part-time processors, representing 2.1% of Africa's population of between 15 and 64 years old. At the country level, Nigeria ranks first, with almost 2 million people engaged in the fisheries and aquaculture sector followed by Morocco with almost 1.4 million and Uganda with almost 1 million people. Breaking this down in terms of number of fishers, Morocco with 870,000 tops, Nigeria follows with 790,000, Uganda 470,000 and Mali 350,000. In terms of processors, Nigeria with more than 1 million has almost doubled the number of Morocco, which is slightly more than 500,000 followed by Uganda's 420,000 processors and Ghana has 385,000 processors. For aquaculture, the picture is very different. Egypt, with 580,000, having more people employed in the sector than all the other African countries combined, followed by Nigeria, where 135,000 people are involved and Uganda has 53,000 people. According to the study, considering that 25% of all marine countries around Africa are still by non-African countries, the value added to national economies could be much higher than $0.4 billion if African fleets also accounted for this portion of catches. Global inland waters capture production reached 11.6 million tons in 2012, although it's Upward trend seems continuous. Its share in total global capture production does not exceed 13%. Nigeria ranked ninth with 312,000 tons on the major world producer countries on inland waters capture production table. Nigeria's inland fisheries are mainly artisanal, dominated by shore based communities, but some professionals among them migrate extensively to exploit resources in other areas where they can exert their superiority. Communities settle at strategic locations along the banks. Fishing is intense on the inland resources and these fisheries contribute substantially to local fish supplies. According to the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, the fishing industry contributed around 425 million naira to the gross domestic product in 2014. Meanwhile, the latest data showed that the subsector grew from around 108 million naira in the first quarter of 2014 to over 124 million naira within the same period in 2015. The waters within five nautical miles from the coastlines are reserved by law for artisanal canoe operators, generally planked and dug out canoes 3 to 13 meters long, powered by outboard engines ranging from 15 to 25 horsepower. The exact size of the artisanal fleet is unknown and is expected to contain thousands of vessels. Even the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics says currently there is no database of fishery statistics. It uses available statistics as produced by federal and state departments of fisheries. The marine subsector is the most active and poses the greatest challenges to sustaining fish supplies. Overall, the Nigerian inshore fishery resources are overexploited, shown by the decreasing individual size of fish landed. Harvesting of aquatic resources and production is done either in the wild, 
that is capture fisheries or in controlled environments commonly known as aquaculture both use a large variety of technologies from artisanal to highly industrial encompassing vessels and equipment as well as fishing gears and methods aquaculture is developing expanding and intensifying in almost all regions of the world except in sub-saharan africa as the global population demand for aquatic food products is expected to increase globally Production from capture fisheries has leveled off and most of the main fishing areas have reached their maximum potential. Sustaining fish supplies from capture fisheries will therefore not be able to meet the growing global demand for aquatic food. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization projections, it is estimated that in order to maintain the current level of per capita consumption, global aquaculture production will need to reach 80 million tons by 2050. Aquaculture continues to be the fastest growing animal food producing sector and to outpace population growth. Per capita supply from aquaculture increased from 0 0.7 kilograms in 1970 to 7.8 kilograms in 2006. An average annual growth rate of 6.9%, it is set to overtake capture fisheries as a source of food fish from a production of less than 1 million tons per year in the early 1950s. Production in 2006 was reported to be 51.7 million tons with value of $78.8 billion, representing an annual growth rate of nearly 7%. Aquaculture has the potential to make a significant contribution to this increasing demand for aquatic food in most regions of the world. However, in order to achieve this, the sector and aqua farmers will face great challenges. Aquaculture is making an important contribution to global production and a number of key element trends are taking place. It is apparent that the aquaculture sector continues to intensify and diversify to use new species and modifying its systems and practices. Aquaculture is doing this with the growing awareness that it must be done through responsible use of the resources upon which it depends and to society in general.